I'm not the most organized person. Did you have fun walking today in the woods with bipolar birding? It was a beautiful day. Worth the price of admission. You wanted to find willow trees, I feel trees, like right? a spirit is taking us on a journey today. What's up everybody? It's Bipolar Birding, the Halloween episode. Look who's back, it's Emmy. Is. So we're here at Kentucky Cemetery in Haverhill, Massachusetts. We're gonna do something a little different today. While other people are trying to erase history, we're gonna preserve it. Yes. I noticed on findagrave.com. What's your grave? Find a grave. Find a grave. That this cemetery only has four pictures in it. So today we're just gonna go around, we're gonna take pictures and we're gonna get it up on the website for them and Show keep history it. alive. So join us. Would you be fun to leave with us? Sorry. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. Yeah. You're gonna walk around, okay. I'm gonna follow you with the camera. Like a spirit cop. And you're gonna just like I'm investigating? Yeah, you're gonna look at the graves and just say who they are and when they die. buried the body of Captain John Pecker, who departed this life December 12, 1776, in his 60th year of age. Sacred in memory of Alice A. Rolloid? Does that say Rolloids? Like Rolloids? Like Tums? That's so cool. Of the John Sweet? John Sweet? I think that's sw like sweat. 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 John Sweat. These all sounds sound like stripper names, like Chippendales. I think. Chippendales. Without sounding like I'm making fun of you, the best title for this video to get a million views, <laughs> Blonde Girl Goes to the Cemetery. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Yeah, probably. So at the top they put like what they believe to be the afterworld, I believe. It's really cool. All right, let me see, we got her name here. Who are you? I can't read, I'm just saying, um, when they left this life, something like that. Mr. Daniel App Appleton. Appleton, that's incredible. Mr. David Kimball. 
I'm like shaking right now. <laughs> Your grave's already dug. My name is David Kimball for those that don't know. <laughs> We're ghosting over here. We're the ghost with the most. And uh, so, at this point of the video, we're gonna kick it over to Happy Ducky and enjoy this little featurette. Happy fall, y'all. Happy fall. Uh, I feel like a spirit is taking my body. I'm being lifted up. Jam and Janet, that was freaking amazing. Was that not insane? High five. <laughs> High five, Jam and Janet. Jam and Janet. Jam and Janet. So that's it. Thanks for watching. 
We're all over the place right now. Yeah, we gotta recollect. We're kind of like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> we walk. Don't mind us. Even though it's the blonde girl goes to the um, cemetery, cemetery, I'm blonde too. But I dyed my hair so people don't make fun of me. All right, thanks for watching. We out. See you soon. What's up, Ski? What up? So, uh, our co host. You know, he, you and I are practically related. We are. And I like that. Yeah, me too. It never got me anywhere until today. Thanks to the Got paint. me on this camera. So yeah. you can hide all your beautiful fans. So we like to get a little bit weird, so we'll just start off easy. All right. It's a good Halloween memory that you have. We're, we're going to ease you into this. A good Halloween memory I have. Um, let's see. Well, I think, you know, in my neighborhood, it's a big trick-or-treating neighborhood, probably like most, and uh, uh, so we always take the kids out, and from the time, I've lived in that neighborhood since they were four, and uh, usually the parents have drink stations set up along the route, so uh, every Halloween winds up being kind of immemorable, um, but very fun until I black out. Never told me your name. Skeet Ulrich, that's me. You took a little break from acting to go and raise your kids. Yeah. You, uh, so you're taking a little trick or <laughs> You're dressed like Ghostface as and gone trick or treating, but nobody knows. And would that be called like trick or skeeting? Oh, that is clever, dude. Trick or skeeting. I'm gonna steal that. I have never dressed uh, as Ghostface, but I have. Uh, my son wanted to one year and, and bought him the whole outfit and then uh, he went through a phase of like literally for about five years of buying a costume and then deciding he was just going to be a ghost. So he didn't actually wear it out. Maybe the whole family goes, like yeah. every single one. You but go to like Comic Con, <laughs> so you can mess with all your friends that are there appearing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but they don't know it's you. But there's like all these little, like little ghost face, medium sized ones. That's a good idea, actually. I've never sort of come up with a way to uh, to work that into my Halloween. Because then you can just walk around and nobody will like. Yeah. Right. Okay.